Hey there, um, this is the first video of a hopefully series of videos that I want to make to show you or showcase uh, to you our cars that we have, you know, whether we own them, whether we have the privilege to drive them. I'm not sure yet what it's going to be called, maybe autogram or something like that. We'll think of something. Um, but we're kind of uh, jump starting this series with um, our 2015 uh, Porsche 911 4S. Um, and it's going to be a little bit different than uh, the normal ones because they might involve a lot more driving and um, uh, more outside shots while we're moving but right now we don't have a whole lot of time because uh, we've decided to um, sell it uh, after three and a half uh, years because really we're not using it uh, we've been working remotely and we'll be working remotely at least for the next year so uh, it doesn't really get a whole lot of exercise and we've got too many other cars uh, to play around with um, so what I'm going to show you is, you know, walk around the car a little bit, show some of the extras uh, that it has, or for some of the people who don't own currently uh, a 911 991 or 992, which is very similar, obviously, uh, the newer model, uh, that, you know, what features uh, does it have that are unique kind of to, to a Porsche, what I like. Um, I'll try to find some things that I don't like, but frankly, I mean, we really like that, that car. I mean, that um, 991 generation is the one you know, after the 993 that uh, is one of the super cool uh, modern Porsches. Uh, so that's why I won't be finding a lot that I, that I don't like. Okay, so cold start. Take a little drive, obviously slowly because the engine oil is still cold.
mean, that um, 991 generation is the one, you know, after the 993 that uh, is one of the super cool uh, modern Porsches. Uh, so that's why I won't be finding a lot that I that I don't like. I mean, obviously, the outside, you know, the 4S, as you know, got the wide, uh, you know, butt, uh, the right rear. And so that's definitely something that we said, okay, it only has to be a, an S, ideally a 4S, I really, really like that. I like the clean line of the coupe, you know, we're convertible people, but this is something where we said, okay, with the 911, you know, we really want to go for uh, for the coupe because it should be also a car that we can drive, you know, when the weather isn't so great, but just that line is just phenomenal. I mean, I love the, the black wheels. Um, so we were really psyched when I found one in, uh, uh, the color uh, gray that it is, which is called Agata uh, Gray, um, which coincidentally is the same gray that we have on the Unimog, but obviously it looks completely different. Um, but yeah, everyone can call their uh, their paints uh, the way that, that they like it. So what we also really wanted when we looked for for a 991 is I did want the um, you know the cool key, obviously, which is uh, super cool. You get uh, two of those. Um, but most of them have that anyway, but this one has uh, the, uh, you know, start where you actually don't need the, the key in there. But um, let's go around first a little bit from the front and show it uh, from the front. Also, you know, create uh, clean front lines. Uh, what I currently don't like that much of the 992, that there's too much going on in the front and the back. I'm sure maybe with a facelift they're going to clean that up, but I like that the 991 you know, it's fairly smooth in terms of number of lines uh, and um, everything else. But what's really cool, which you can only get with that, I think with the Kiwasak, no, I think that's probably with all of them, is how do you open the uh, the front lid. So obviously you can, you know, unzip your pants, not obviously unzip them, but, and then uh, press the button to uh, to open it. But there's also a se secret trick how to do that. So you can approach it and then there's a little sensor here and then the whole thing comes up, which is a really cool. Uh, to access the luggage compartment, and then, you know, it's for a 911 um, or a sports car, decent size for some shopping at Aldi or at the wine store. Um, so that's pretty much everything from the outside. Otherwise, you know, these are uh, lovely glasses. So let's go inside and check ours out. Uh, so what we have, uh, which is really nice, are the the contrasting stitchings that we have on the leather uh, no, here, uh, on the doors, um, and the contrasting red uh, seat belt. So I think that's a nice accent, because, uh, you know, <laughs> as convertible people, we really don't like, you know, being inside and it's, it's you know, with the dark color, it's all dark, but, um, you know, the contrasting stitching and the glass roof uh, really you know, makes the car a little bit more lighter and you're not in a cave uh, like you um, might be. Then what I also uh, like that this one has the sports uh, or the different steering wheel, uh, which looks much nicer than, than the standard one. And obviously some people have wood and I don't think in a 911 of that generation a wood steering wheel is good. The 1960s and uh, maybe early 70s you can get away with a Nardi, uh, but this one needs to have, yeah, metal here. Obviously the shifter, you can see what I mentioned here. This key fob is always in there, so I just uh, turn the key when we turn on uh, the the engine. Second biggest important option that we really wanted to have is Kronos. Obviously you need to have uh, the uh, you know lap timer up there, even though we have never had it on the track, but it's just something that it has to uh, has to have. And then in terms of dial and options, you know it comes with a sport a sport plus um, you know settings. Uh, the adjustable dampers, um, anti skid is everything, uh, start stop everything, and very important the motor sound package because uh, you know that's the thing you always have to drive with that one because the sound is just too good to be a bit true. So that, that is that. And because it's you know a coupe, we really also wanted to have not just uh, heated uh, seats but also ventilated seats. That's another option on it. And the Bose sound system, I mean, the Burmeister would have been even more spectacular, but uh, the Bose, you know, is, is good enough uh, for us. At least it wasn't the standard system. So, um, yeah, adjustable seats oh, with memory uh, is also uh, one of the options on here. And then obviously the 
navigation system uh, that is um, there. So that, those are pretty much all the, the options uh, that we have. Uh, what we, because we don't use uh, the CD player obviously anymore, we don't use the CD player anymore, we just put an uh, old um, iPod and, and plugged it into the USB slot in the uh, glove compartment and then we have our couple of thousand songs there um, to listen to whenever we're in the mood for, uh, for music. So that is pretty much it. You know, I, we really love it. The car, the, the 991 is really well built. You know, it, it doesn't creak or crack. It's a really solidly feeling uh, car. It goes really well, which you see from that, when that little video that I'll show uh, later when we did a little driving. The PDK uh, is phenomenal. Uh, it's really fast. Um, manually switching is hardly ever needed, but when it does, it's also pretty good. And that's it. So that's why. Is there something that we don't like about it? I mean, if I want to be a really first world problem, this steering wheel doesn't come with heating, so it's not available with that, but that's about it. And the fact that obviously because it has so much oil and dry sump lubrication, uh, it takes about six to eight miles uh, when it's cold uh, for the oil to warm up, but again, that doesn't matter. I mean, you drive a little slower. The car has enough power until 3,000, 3,500 RPM anyway. And then once after, you know, eight miles, you can then let it riff if you want to. Pretty much it. Except, shall we just give it a little roar? The only thing which I don't like about it is that we're letting it go. But uh, hopefully we'll find a, a good owner who can appreciate it uh, in the future. And so after this video I said I'll put the uh, little driving scenes, the cold start uh, video there as well. So if uh, there's a prospective buyer that wants to look at all that remotely, he or she can do so. Um, and yeah, I hope that uh, I'll have the time to do some additional uh, videos from our other cars with a little bit more detail. We'll go and look at the engine and all that kind of stuff, but on a 911 you can't really see the engine anyway, so that's kind of pointless. Um, but I think that's it uh, for today, so thanks a lot and see you later. Yeah, and obviously the back seats are there, but uh, in reality they're more luggage racks, so you can actually fold them down and you can, uh, I think, three or four wine cases we've had there uh, before for transporting so uh, it's good to have it but yeah you can't really have anyone really sit there unless they don't have legs which is not a good thing okay now it's show time good. 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 here we go, go.